back to MCOC Owl Bundy Rules. I have some unstoppable counters, four specific ones I'm going to be using for three different fights. Each of these three different fights are ones that make them difficult because they're unstoppable. I'm going to start off now with Thing. So what can make Thing difficult for many people is when he hits 15 rock stacks, he gets that unstoppable and can kind of go a little crazy on you from there. So you have to be, you can't hit him after 15 normally. However, if you have slow, you can completely ignore that. So what I'm doing here is I'm using Red Guardian on this first fight. You use that S1 to get the slow going on. And then after that, you can just keep reactivating it by using heavies. And so we saw how well that worked. It made it to where he never triggered that unstoppable, even after I purposely went past 15. You're going to see something similar here with Spider Gwen, which is going to be fight number two of the four fights against Thing. Again, there are going to be three fight, three champions overall. I'm going to be demonstrating this on with four champs for a total of 12 partial fights. So on Spider Gwen, all you got to do here is get in that heavy. And once you get that heavy, you get a nice 15 second slow. So as we see, once we have that going on, that slow, I can hit past the 15 with no repercussions. It just goes back down to 12 and it keeps cycling from 12 to 15, from 12 to 15, as need be, as long as I got that slow. It's a good long 15 second slow, so I can get in quite a few hits in between having to re-heavy. So the next fight, the third fight on thing here, is going to be something fairly similar in which I did with Spider-Gwen. And this will be kind of similar to what we saw when I showed both Spider-Gwen and She-Hulk as evade counters, but can't overlook the fact that, well, but what good unstoppable counters they are, which is what I'm highlighting them here for. So again, on thing, again, this is going to be actually a 12-second slow instead of 15 like Spider-Gwen. So got to be a little bit quicker on those heavies than I was with Spider-Gwen. But I do same basic thing. I keep hitting past the 15 intentionally so you go down to 12. It's just going to keep cycling on through. So nice and easy as long as I keep that slow active. I'm at no risk. If it did expire, I just easily apply another one with a nice heavy right there. So I keep smacking him around with She-Hulk as we see. And nice and easy. The fourth one I'm going to be showing you all against Thing before I go on to the next fight, which will be the champion and his unstoppable, specifically the current boss fight. Um, so now I'm going to use Selfie. What we're seeing on the pre-fight, I am activating that web foam. So you must activate that web foam before the fight or this is not going to work out too well in your favor. So we see here, basically I need to activate the slow debuff a couple different ways I can with Stealthy. Quickest way, especially at the beginning of a fight, is by ending the combo with the light. We saw a charge got consumed with that. Don't get a ton of time with this one. So I went ahead and activated that for now while I'm working my way up to an S2. The reason why I want to get up to this S2 is because it gives me a much, much, much longer slow debuff as we're going to see. It's actually about a 250% duration. So now we're going to see this much slower moving slow debuff as it's going on. Get a lot of time. It did consume two. However, it gives me a lot of time to do a lot of damage. So I don't really have to worry about that for a while. I can just keep hitting the thing. This is the thing from Abyss, so he has an extremely high health pull. So you're not going to see a ton of damage going down on this. Next up is going to be next fight I'm going to showcase is going to be Champion. So the Champion, I'm going to start off with Red Guardian. He's going to be the first of the four fights against the Champion. This is actually off of the current side event quest, the final boss of that reward list side quest, giving you a profile pick of tiles. Uh, but uh, honestly, I believe a very silly reward, but I guess some people are into it. Um, anyways, so I did it just for fun, but the rewards were silly. Anyway, so this is the champion from that fight, which mimics the uh, 2019 6.2 boss fight. And one of the parts that make him the hardest is going to be that stun. I'm sorry, that unstoppable he gets. So I'm doing the exact same thing here that I did with Thing on Red Guardian. 
So now the second fight I'm going to do on the champion is going to be stealthy. Going to do the same thing I did. I just want to show you how the strategy works on multiple champs. I specifically picked these champs because slow does not work if they have a class disadvantage. So I wanted to use champs that they would work on. That's why I might not have used somebody like Solar Surf Supreme wouldn't work on the thing fight because of the class disadvantage. So we see that I am continuing to do this again. Use that light to activate a slow debuff. S2 is going to be really want to be your focal point most of the time when using stealthy with the web foam because of the fact it is going to go and give you a much much more bang for your buck, so to speak. And that's way as you're building up more. If you run out of web charges, simply just build up to an S3. And this fight is simply about showing about how to use the unstoppable, so not worried about the other aspects of the fight. Third fight we're going to do is going to be a spider, Gwen, now. Again, nice and simple, so that unstoppable can get pretty complicated. We notice how the unstoppable is actually showing. It pops up. So, hey, wait a minute. It's not going away. But it actually is because you notice it's unstoppable is not working. I am continuing to hit right through it with nothing. So even though it's showing, it's not effective because I am bypassing that slow despite the fact it may show. So you just got to be careful. As long as the slow is active, I'm good to go. So you see that it says unstoppable. You see it's up there, but you see me hit him like nothing. So completely bypassing that again. And I'm continuing to go through on this champion boss rather simply. This uh, champion boss is the uh, nerf version that they did for this event after the 6.2 fights. Here we got She-Hulk going to be the final fight on this champion before I go to the next one. And the last one, which is going to be an Iolus, which I will be using all four of them again. She-Hulk um, was really good for this fight, actually. My She-Hulk's only an R3, undupe. And you're going to see her do a lot of damage on this final boss champion of 6.2 and at the current side event. And you're going to see him tear, see her tear him up pretty dang good as just an R3. But again, the main focus is going to be about that slow. It keeps those unstoppables, makes this fight a much more fightable. Otherwise, this fight gets much more complicated. Similar to like we saw with Spider Gwen, we see that the unstoppable came up, but it's not going to be effective. I can go right on through it. And then so I'm continuing to do this fight and got him down that quick with her just an R3. Last one to prove how good these champs are against these unstoppable and tough unstoppable fights is going to be against Annihilus using once again Red Guardian. Again, using the same strategy I've done in the previous fights. Want to show a variety. We're going to be a little quicker now because we're probably getting the point. I just want to ensure that we see that this method works for several different champs. Once again, they cannot have the class disadvantage which is why I might have left out, say, a Sorcerer Supreme, uh, which I know someone's going to ask, why didn't you mention Sorcerer Supreme? Because she would not have worked on that thing fight. So I don't want to give you bad information. So I want to use them on all of them. So I am now looking at She-Hulk going on this fight. Same basic thing. Hopefully we're getting the point by now on how to do this. We'll see my explanations get a little quicker on each of the fights so we get an idea. But once again, to illustrate the point on how well this works on some of these rather tough fights. The Unstoppable is which makes each of those three fights I've shown so far um, somewhat difficult for some people. So if you can eliminate the Unstoppable, that fight becomes much, much more manageable and easier. Final fight against the final champion here on this is going to be, once again, Stealthy. And this one, I went ahead and used a four-star Stealth just for fun. I got this one out of the uh, side event. I cannot use a duel like I did on the other three analysis because you cannot activate the pre-fight ability. So I had to find a separate one for this fight. I wanted to make sure I got a little bit of fight, so use the four star, and we will see same basic thing going. Don't forget to click that top left little icon popping up right now. Hit that subscribe button, please. Road to a thousand. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.